video, I'm going to be talking all about hair photography in the salon and how to make your clients feel comfortable when you take before and after pictures, where to tell your clients to look and position their head, and all of that juicy stuff. So stay tuned for this video so you can learn all of my tips and tricks that I've learned the past several years taking pictures for the Instagram. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a follow on Instagram, and let's get into the rest of this video. Let's go, let's me, let's hit, let's go. Holy hit, let's go, let's go, let's go. So let's start with before photos. I don't always take before photos, but when I do, there is a purpose for it. I don't always post the before photos. So sometimes I will take the before photos just for client reference. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but sometimes I have clients come in and they see their hair afterwards and it's maybe not, it doesn't look like that, you know, Pinterest photo or Instagram photo that they brought in. So they're not like completely, you know, loving their look or satisfied with what their hair looks like. And then I show them the before photo and show them what we started with and how much better it looks afterwards. And so sometimes clients can't see the end goal that we see in our mind. Maybe it's gonna take a couple appointments in order to get them to their goal photo, but at least this appointment, I can show you how far we've come. You don't go all the way you know, to the top floor without climbing up the stairs. So anyways, I like to have before photos for reference. So in taking my clients before photos, I like to have them pose in the back and then kind of like either side. Before photos, you don't have to be as picky, but you don't want your clients to look mad or upset. I mean, obviously this is the before, so they're not gonna have as happy of an expression as they do in their after photo, but you know, kind of make your client smile a little bit, um, have them twirl around and just get a little more comfortable behind the camera. So not every client is gonna be comfortable behind the camera, but you can kind of get them a little more comfortable. And you wanna take a couple different angles of their hair before and after, but I do like to try and get their face in it a little bit, kind of just like this, like she's looking to the left a little bit, kind of has her chin down, not looking directly at the camera, kind of just over to the side a little bit. I've pulled all of her hair forward so that it looks really full and pretty, and we have a little bit of her face in it. As the Instagram algorithm gets weirder by the day, one of the things that gets promoted more is photos that have your client's faces in them. So instead of just having a photo of the back of your client's head, if you actually post a photo with their face in it, it gets more engagement. So try it for yourself and see if you notice a difference. Moving on to after photos, after you get your client color all beautiful and their hair all styled I recommend curls for after photos for some reason curly hair just photography is better it's not a word photography I just feel like it just looks better in photos I always tell clients to notice the photos that they bring in they're always curly like look at this photo this is the hair curly and I be sure to show them like what their hair looks like straight and then what their hair color looks like curly because it is a huge difference. So I kind of have a chat with the client. That is something I go over during their consultation that this color that you are desiring is going to look different straight. So if I know they're the type of client that is not going to even get out their curling iron, maybe we're gonna approach their color in a little bit different way. Going on to taking the afters, I like to get it all curled and gorgeous. In this case, I did the waver on some of her hair and then curls on the the other parts of her hair just to give hers that boho style we did a wedding bridal trial for my sister-in-law I have a video of that on my channel if you want to check that out but this is me taking her after photos so I kind of like hold a little bit of her hair up in different areas I fluff it as I go and I'm always looking at her hair through the camera as well. If there's something in the camera that looks a little weird, maybe like a little bit of a highlight that I need to move and relocate, you can piece by piece relocate your client's hair color 
to look its best in the after photos. You want to take some time, so be sure if you are planning on taking before and after photos, you book that extra time in. I would suggest an extra 15 to 20 minutes just so that you don't feel rushed and your client isn't, your next client isn't like waiting out there for you to like get done with your photo shoot. That can be a little bit awkward. So as you can see, I'm just having her move in different directions. I'm giving her direction as I have her move and I'm just like, hey, let's go here, let's go there. Just have an open communication with your client and see how to get a little bit of her face in the photo, I'm having her turn her chin down a little bit and her head to the side. That just gives her a really great natural look so she doesn't look awkward like she's just a deer in headlights staring at the camera. And then a good way that I find to help your clients like move their head and just follow the direction that you want them to go in is if you take your pointer finger and direct them to follow your pointer finger, that is a great way to direct your client's head. Sometimes it's awkward moving your client's head for them and they feel awkward and you just want to take the awkwardness out of it. So if you just take your index finger and have them follow it with their eyes and then if you bring your finger down a little bit they can follow it with their chin down and you can just say hey follow my finger and I'm going to kind of position your head where I want it so that your after photos are going to turn out beautiful. And just have that open communication with your clients. They truly truly appreciate it because they they want to look good in these photos as well so just taking the pressure off and making this a light-hearted and fun experience for you and your clients is going to make all the difference in the energy behind your after photo so i hope you guys found this video helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you beauties for watching and supporting my channel and i will see you in the next video let's go let's meet let's hit let's go